Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be sharing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury favorites. I also have this brand new Airbrush Flawless setting spray to try. So this just arrived, I believe it was $20 for this little travel size. It's just a way for people to test out the product before she officially launches the full size. So we will put this to the test, but most everything else here is a tried and true favorite. And I feel like I always create a very similar look to this. So if you'd like to see how I achieve my everyday Charlotte Tilbury soft glam makeup look, just keep watching. I'm going to begin by unboxing this Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's supposed to prime and set for up to 16 hours, so you can use it to set your makeup, but you can also use it to prime. I'm gonna do both. I have not touched this, it arrived yesterday, but I looked it up on the website. This has Japanese green tea, aloe vera, flawless film formers, which is supposed to act as an invisible shield which I could definitely use. I think it's about 200 degrees outside already. All I have on my face right now is skincare. And with this little delivery came this sample of the Charlotte Magic Cream Light. So I went in with this today. I like it. I will say it's not nearly as light as I expected. It was more like a thick white sunscreen. It did absorb. I don't feel oily or greasy. I was a little bit surprised that this was the light version and it was still pretty heavy. Let's see. It says hold six to eight inches away and mist over entire face before and after applying makeup. Pretty self-explanatory. I don't know why I read the directions. Ooh, it feels nice. And it smells really good too. smells so good. I do have some errands to run today, so I will be sure to do a check-in sometime later in the afternoon, and I can let you know if there are any updates, if I think the setting spray really does the trick. My skin does feel a little bit different. I can feel a very slight tack. It's probably that film. But that's a good thing because that just means it's going to grab hold of my foundation. But first I'm going in with what is hands down one of the best products from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I use the shade three and I'm going to use this as my primer today. I also love the Wonder Glow Primer. If I had to choose one over the other, the Hollywood Flawless Filter wins every single time. So I'm just going to apply this in the center points of the face. The reason I love using this as a primer is it's very thin and you can see it has a very soft pearly glow. So it gives a little bit of radiance underneath the foundation. You can also mix it into your foundation if you prefer. The Wonder Glow Primer also gives radiance, but the big difference between the two is that it only comes in one shade, whereas the Hollywood Flawless Filter is available in several different shades and their skin tones. So if you have a deeper complexion, you can choose one of the deeper shades. It just makes it a more versatile product. You can use it to highlight contour. You can go tone on tone, mix it into your foundation, wear it on top of the foundation. Whereas the Wonder Glow Primer, it's sort of that one size fits all. This makes your skin look naturally radiant, like right here. It's almost like glass skin. My all-time favorite Charlotte Tilbury foundation is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It was a love-hate relationship at first, but there is just no replacing this for me. It is now one of my favorite foundations, full stop. I actually just finished my Magic Foundation. I was scraping the bottom of it. And I really don't feel the need to replace it because I just prefer this so much. It dries pretty quickly, so you have to be kind of fast when you're applying it. And a little bit goes such a long way. So I like to do one pump at a time because I find that if I just do two quick pumps, I've used way too much product. With other foundations, I feel like I can just pump and pump and pump and keep applying, keep applying. With this one, one pump is truly all you need for the entire face, which is another reason I love it so much. 
Now, I don't own the Charlotte Tilbury concealer, but I did receive this little sample card recently in one of my purchases. So I figured we would try this today. I'm gonna open up one and two and mix them together. This is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. Comes in the pen form. I know I've tried this at some point, but I honestly cannot remember. Oh wow, the two looks pretty dark. I'm just mixing these with my finger. It feels so thick. I wonder if it really is this thick. I imagine not, because that would be really difficult to twist up. I need to set my under eyes, so I'm going in now with the Airbrush Flawless Finish Micro Powder, and I have the shade 1 Fair. This is not a Charlotte Tilbury favorite. I've used this product in the past, last year sometime. I just find it to be a little bit too matte and look too dull, too drying on my skin. I think for some people, it's probably amazing. And I think this is one of their top sellers and that's what drew me to purchase it in the first place. I heard nothing but rave reviews. This particular powder was sent to me complimentary recently from Charlotte Tilbury. They sent me a little care package with a couple pieces from their summer collection and airbrush flawless collection. So huge thank you to Charlotte Tilbury. I love you guys so much. But this is just not the best setting powder I own. I am gonna use it today because it's a Charlotte Tilbury video and I always feel like it's fair to revisit products that you didn't necessarily love a while ago. Maybe my opinion will change, we'll see. So I'm just going to lightly, lightly, lightly dust this underneath my eyes. So far, so good. I think it looks pretty nice. I didn't use a ton of product. I was very careful to be really light-handed, but I can still see some luminosity on my cheeks. I think that has to do with the Hollywood Flawless Filter, which is why it is my go-to, tried and true favorite product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a must-have for sure. And it also helps that I went in with my Sicily Eye Contour Mask today. I noticed such a huge difference from when I use it to when I skip. And I have been skipping for over a month. I just haven't grabbed it. I've been too lazy. And I've noticed that my under eyes have been looking so dry and crepey. I highly recommend the Sisley Eye Contour Mask. I know it's pretty pricey, but it will last you a lifetime. I haven't even made a dent in mine and I've had it for probably over a year at this point, maybe around a year. It's just the best thing on earth. Now it's not going to help with severe crow's feet out here, but underneath here, the dryness, it's amazing. Next to warm up my complexion, I grabbed my airbrush bronzer in the shade three, the tan. I thought about the medium, but I figure I'll just be light-handed for the day. And this is one of my new favorite products from Charlotte Tilbury. It's way better than that Hollywood bronze and highlight palette. This is incredible. They needed bronzers like this. I wish they had more shades besides the four, but it's beautiful. This compact is stunning. It's so luxurious and glamorous. I love the fact that it's so huge, but it's refillable, so you don't have to waste this gorgeous packaging. I'm going to try applying this with the new bronzer brush that they came out with. This was sent to me complimentary from Charlotte Tilbury. You can see it is brand new, not a touch of bronzer. Ooh. It's so soft. I love this brush. I think that went on really smooth. Nice. I didn't know what I was missing with this brush. It is like butter. It is so smooth and silky. I love this. I'm gonna have to use this more often with other products, with everything. I just love it, so smooth. 
I think this bronzer is truly the best addition to their airbrush flawless family. It's so good. I cannot wait to see what else they come out with. And I know they just gave us this airbrush flawless setting spray, but I don't care. I want more. For blush, I'm using the Ecstasy blush. Probably a boring choice if you watch a lot of my videos. This is my favorite blush from Charlotte Tilbury. It's just so natural. I picked out my Hollywood Beauty Light Wand and the original shade, Spotlight. I wasn't sure whether I should go with Pillow Talk or not, but I think this one is my favorite. And this is one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products, but it's also just one of my favorite beauty products ever. I think it is so stunning. It looks like there's plenty of product here on the sponge. So instead of dabbing it directly on my face, which of course you can do, I'm just gonna use my fingers to dab. It can get a little bit messy. <laughs> That's the one complaint I have. But other than that, it's just perfection. Especially over the summer when you really want to glow. I'm just gonna tap it on. It's a cream, but it never interrupts my foundation, my powder. It doesn't matter what I apply it on top of. It just looks really smooth and creamy. Another great thing about this cream is that it doesn't accentuate texture. And for whatever reason, maybe hormones, I don't know what, but I have had a lot of texture on my cheeks lately. The last couple weeks I've noticed it. It looks so soft and subtle. I cannot tell you how much smoother this looks than any of the powder highlights that I've been wearing the past couple weeks. It's just incredible. I would say if you have fair to light skin, the original Spotlight is a great shade for you. If you have medium tan skin, I would go with Pillow Talk or one of the different shades that they carry. If you have tan to deep skin, I would go with the Pillow Talk Intense. So now they have a shade for absolutely everybody. It's the shade, but it's the texture that makes this product so amazing. It's how the cream applies to the skin. So beautiful. Now that the complexion is airbrushed and flawless, it's time for eyes. And I picked out my Instant Eye Palette. I'm obsessed. My number one favorite eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's the best value. I think it's the best palette, the best quality, the best shades. Everything about it is the best, at least from Charlotte. So with a fluffy brush, I'm going to go into this first shade in the Date Trio. It's kind of medium intensity brown. I'm gonna start there and I'm going to buff that in the crease. It feels like another lifetime ago when this palette was launched, but I wanna say this launched at the beginning of the year, wasn't it? Now here we are in July and I cannot believe it. With a flat brush, I'm picking up this center day shade. It's kind of a light mauve pink. This is going all over the lid. There was a good two month stint at the beginning of the year when this was the only eyeshadow palette I used. I think it was basically the only exciting palette I owned because previous to this, I really stuck to quads and quints, but I just couldn't put it down. On a rougher 14 brush, I'm picking up that original brown and I'm going to buff this beneath the lower lash line. With my rougher 13 brush, I'm going into this rich, deep chocolatey color right here. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit of depth in the outer V. With a tiny precision brush, I'm going into this very first shade and I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. For the waterline, I'm going in now with the Pillow Talk eyeliner. And this is my favorite shade of all of their eyeliners. I also have the double-sided maroon. I also picked up the blue. I thought about using this maroon because I have used this a lot, the metallic side. I don't think I've ever used the matte side, but the metallic side, I'm slowly but surely going through that. But the Pillow Talk is still my favorite. I 
I am so happy they updated their feline flick. The first time I used this eyeliner, I hated it. I loathed it and I did my best to use it as quickly as possible and I think it only lasted maybe two months. It dried out pretty quickly, but it was awful. I could never get a straight line. It was always ragged and strange edges everywhere. This new version is night and day difference. It's just perfect and I actually prefer this to the signature de Chanel, which I just used up. So now I'm using this exclusively and I love it. And what's great about this compared to other eyelining pens that I've used is that if I have too much eyeshadow dust right at the base of my lashes, that happens to me all the time. I don't know about you guys, but it is incredibly frustrating and I can never get my mascara wand close enough to the lash line. If I get too close, I end up poking myself. I don't know what it is about it, but I always have like this little blank space, but I can always go in with this and I can actually paint over it. So it helps make the lashes look beautiful. The Legendary Lashes is the mascara I love from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't have it, I used it up and I didn't repurchase simply because I have so many mascaras. So I'm just gonna use this Dior Show Blackout. This is what I've been using. I've noticed that my lashes are looking longer. I've been trying to be incredibly consistent using my Babe Lash Serum. I think I've only been using it for about a month consistently. And I can tell that they're a little bit longer. It's not a huge noticeable difference, like I'm sure you guys wouldn't notice, but whenever I'm applying my mascara, I can just tell. You know, even if it's a very subtle difference, you know when your lashes are a little bit longer. I just filled in my eyebrows off camera. So the last step is lips. And this is my favorite trio from Charlotte Tilbury. And I love her lip products. I think she has some of the best available. She really dominates in two categories, complexion and lipsticks. But today I'm going to be using these three. So this is the Lip Cheat in the shade Pink Venus. It's a little bit peachier than Pillow Talk, which I also really love, but I think this is just better for summer. I love these Lip Cheats because they're pretty smooth and creamy so they don't drag across the lip. filled it in a little bit at the bottom. And then the lipstick I'm going to use is Angel Alessandra. One of the best. This must be one of the kissing lipsticks. It's not matte at all. It's really smooth and creamy, which is another reason why this is one of my favorites. Now, I don't always love to top that off with a gloss. I do like to go in with Ibiza Nights. That's my favorite lip gloss. But instead, I'm going to go in with the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath. When I use this, I don't have any issues. Sometimes when I throw one of her glosses on top of this lipstick, it just sort of starts to peel. It almost breaks down after maybe 20, 30 minutes. It doesn't take long. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of this right in the center. This is one of the smoothest glosses. It has a slight tingle to it, but it's not too much. It's the perfect amount. That's the last step for makeup. So now we have our full circle moment. We are returning to the beginning. And once again, I am going to mist my face with this Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So we will see, what does it say, 16 hours? Yeah, I'm not gonna have this on for 16 hours. It's too late in the afternoon. No melting, no fading, no creasing. Sounds really good. For makeup that looks just applied. All right, I'll take it. Mm, I love that smell. And it is sort of unfortunate that it has added fragrance, but it does smell kind of good.
my makeup is now done for the day. This is the complete look. I'm very curious to see if there's a noticeable difference using this Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I figure it can't hurt. I usually forget about setting spray. At least I have for the past couple months because I've been doing makeup for videos and not really leaving the house. So I will be sure to leave the house today. That way I can bring you an accurate review and see if it truly withstands this Miami weather. We'll see, time will tell. But overall, I really love this look. I was laughing to myself because I think this is my go-to Charlotte Tilbury look. I don't always use the same eyeshadows in that palette, but I feel like my makeup always turns out the same. I don't know why, this is my Charlotte Tilbury makeup look. I always use a lot of the Pillow Talk products, but I love this lip, I love her foundation. Her complexion products are just perfection. Some of the best. And you know, I don't mind that powder as much today. I think it's probably because I went in incredibly light-handed, but I feel like I look really dewy. That's probably due to the setting spray. So maybe now that I have both, maybe I can actually put that powder to use. I love the eyeshadows, I love the lipstick. This bronzer, <laughs> this has got to be one of her best launches of the year, I'm sure it will be. It's just so beautiful and it's an incredible value. I think these are $53, but the pan is gigantic. And this is a really beautiful statement piece. Like I think you could easily display this on a vanity or a countertop and it just looks gorgeous. It's about noon. I will do a check-in later on in the afternoon to keep you guys posted. But for now, that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know if you have any favorite products from Charlotte Tilbury, especially if you know about something that I did not talk about here today. I would love to read your recommendations as well. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face down below in the description box for your convenience and for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm doing my one and only check-in for the night. It's about nine o'clock, so it's been nine hours since I applied my makeup this morning, and I think it looks really nice. No signs of wear and tear, just a little bit on my chin, but I think it's because I've been rubbing my chin on my clothes by accident, you know, nothing crazy, um, but not a lot of settling. I feel like I look pretty dewy, everything is still intact. Overall, I really like the setting spray. I love the fact that it has aloe and green tea. I don't love the fact that it has fragrance, but I'm willing to put that aside. I'm gonna keep it here on my vanity and that way I'll remember to grab it every single day. My face looks so shiny right now. Generally, I'll get a little bit oily right in my T-zone, but I am shiny all over the place, all over my cheeks. I think that is the setting spray. It's like a film. Hairspray for your makeup.